This interface might look familiar to you after playing through uh, Half Sided, if you beat the first level of Half Sided or watched my walkthrough for it. And, these, uh, and then you know right away that this is going to be a pretty tough puzzle. Uh, I spent a good two days thinking about it. Um, and when I say two days, I mean like two days with this in the back of my head the entire time until I finally stumbled upon the answer. It kind of came to me just all of a sudden. The problem that you'll end up having when you place these ghost towers trying to get more or place these towers trying to get more ghost towers than original that is that you'll end up with this symmetry problem where the ghost towers that appear will be exactly the same number and on the opposite side of the board as the ones as the originals even when you jam them in close together like this like you can you can try all kinds of crazy shapes which which I did I I tried all kinds of crazy stuff like Sorry, not that one. Things like this, where the resonator panels are taking divergent paths, but they're still producing, um, go so, but they're still meeting up and producing ghost towers. Just the orientation is wrong. You can put some more here, and they'll end up going on that side. It's always going to be the same number as the number of original towers. So I was stumped by this, and I tried all kinds of different um, shapes until I finally kind of stumbled upon. Um, this phenomenon. So I was playing around with something like this. I saw, yep, they meet up there. I tried adding a few more, and I happened to notice, hmm, it produced three, even though I wouldn't expect them to. So I mean, uh, it looks like the ones in the corners ended up meeting at opposite orientations. And I thought that was kind of interesting because they're taking, except for the one in the middle. Let's remove the one in the middle. It doesn't really matter. Uh, they're taking divergent paths, the resonator panels, but they're still meeting up. So I thought, well, maybe we can we can exploit this. Let's put a few more. What happens now? Well, we're still getting still getting them in the corners. Now they're completely matched up because we're completely symmetrical. How about one like this? You know, that was expected because the one in the middle was already independently uh, creating a ghost tower. But then it then it struck me, what is an orientation where if we put, we, we can ta have them take these divergent paths and create the same number on the bottom. So we put three on the top, it produced three on the bottom. And we put four on the top, it produced four on the bottom. Well, isn't there a way that we can put four on the top but also get them to meet? And in fact, there is. If we put them around in this plus si uh, plus sign here, you'll you'll find after I put this last one. On the second tick after I place it, since they all coordinate, we'll end up with a ghost tower on the top, plus we'll end up with three on the uh, or four on the bottom matching it, and that's exactly what happens.